Hello there, kids. It is I, Stray Cat, the one and only. Coming to you with another episode of Knights of the Old Republic. Alrighty, when we left off, we had, well, we had just gotten done figuring out uh, Griff got kidnapped by a bunch of sand people and uh, were only able to go outside of Anchorhead uh, if we promised to kill the sand people or at least get rid of them and bring gaffy sticks as proof uh that sounds like there might be a peaceful solution there i guess we'll find out oh, don't you believe a word of what that circle corporation said in there there's always a peaceful solution a peaceful solution to conflict they are just lazy yeah that sounds about right and i already had a feeling that there'd be a peaceful solution there so you just confirmed it thank you uh uh, is this about Zerka wanting the Sand People chieftain killed? So you are the killer that they hired. Just going to walk out there and wipe them out? I'd expect no less from fools. The Sand People aren't animals. I've watched them, and they are intelligent. There must be a way to peacefully stop the attacks. I know it. But no one will try, of course. You can't even leave the city without Zerka approval, and they want the Sand People dead. Uh, why would you know any better? Perhaps I'm no expert on diplomatic situations, but I know when there is a lack of due care for the environment and the residents of it. What would you have done? To the sand people, it must have seemed like an invasion. There were no negotiations for territory or resources. I don't think the killing has been justified, but as a conservationist, I'm hoping someone at least tries to talk it out. I mean... Then what do you suggest? Communication. If we could just speak to them. But they don't talk. At least not in any language an average translator can understand. There was even a Jedi here a few years ago that couldn't seem to get through to them. I think that ended in blood too. I'm not saying it would be easy, but someone has to try. Maybe with a real translation droid, not with these old protocol scrap heaps walking around. See, even now, I'm, I'm still running into a situation where I'm not able to finish the line before the alien does and a lot of that's probably due to the fact that they're just cobbled together lines that are just put in places to make it sound right but <laughs> some of it may be a bit of my Shatner-esque pauses every once in a while and my tripping over my own tongue doesn't help either but it, it seems like a problem that could have been fixed you know what I mean Anyway, at least having them hold on to a line a little longer, especially if it was specifically wordy? Ugh, I don't know. I don't know. Who would have a capable droid? They are pretty rare, even on well-stocked worlds, but I'm sure I've heard something about an unusual droid in the shop here on Tatooine. I'm sure I heard Yuka Laka saying that he could speak a sand people dialect, although he'd say rust and gold to make a sale. With that droid, maybe you could talk to them. I wouldn't survive. Maybe with desert robes as a disguise, someone could get into their enclave. Where is that enclave? What? It's no secret where they are. The attacks get worse the further southwest in the Dune Sea you go. Then people die on both sides. Where would I get the robes to match theirs? I suppose you could take them off the warrior raiders in the Dune Sea, but there's no way I'd survive doing anything like that. Plus, you would have to explain why you killed their warriors if you were trying to make peace. But I suppose there is no other way. Yeah, that's true. I would have to try and explain that. Or I could just leave that out. That would be a good thing to do. That would be good to leave out. Just in case that pisses them off. Yeah, it's probably a good idea. Okay. Uh, I will deal with the matters I see fit. Uh, maybe I'll look into it. Sure, that's what the Zerka Corporation keeps saying, and then they just start shooting again. The fighting won't stop until they are all dead. Or until the Zerka leaves. The one is as likely as the other with the way things are going. Ah, what do I know? Well, I mean, thank you for uh, that explanation. That gives me a way to possibly do this peacefully. So, I need to take the robes off of presumably dead sand people warriors that attack me. Conveniently leave out that I did that when I try to talk to them with a droid that possibly can speak sand people dialect 
that I can get at one of the shops here. Very conveniently, I might add. Okay. Alright. Seems good a chance as any. Let's do it. Uh, anything special over there? No, can't even get back there. Alright. Now I could go to this thing over here. Um. Um. What's, uh, with the, uh, similarly uniformed, uh, <laughs> group over there? <laughs> it, uh, is it just me or does it look like they're carrying lightsabers there? Hmm. Interesting. Very interesting. Hi there. I want to talk to you. Lord Malak was most displeased when he learned you had escaped Terrace alive. Really? He has promised a great reward to whoever destroys you. Oh, well, good luck with that, bud. Uh, also, ooh, Dark Jedi. Ooh, joy. This is going to be fun. By fun, I mean, oh, fuck. Um, okay, go to Master Flurry after that. And... I guess keep doing that. Um, can you target any of them? Yes, you can. Uh, have you do Force Whirlwind on the other guy. And then improve Flurry on them. And can you target any of them? Yes, you can. Uh, just have you start doing... That. Seems like a good idea. Let's do it. Okay, well... You kind of fucked. Oh! Well. You're doing pretty well so far. Considering. Oh, well that's one dead. That's all of them dead. Woo! You did it. Killed some Dark Jedi. Okay. Well. Uh, red crystal, short lightsaber, Sith energy shield, okay. Sith assassin pistol, diamond crystal, Chani dueling shield, and data pad? Okay. Dark Jedi robe, yellow crystal, verpine, cardio regulator, double bladed lightsaber. Huh. Well, I was hoping for something more cool than that. I could have sworn I saw a purple lightsaber at some point. But, oh well. Guess I'm not lucky enough to get that. Okay. Uh, I saw a Dark Jedi night robe. Hmm. Designed for those who relish personal combat and know that power comes to those who take it. These robes offer good protection with no hindrance to movement. Well, I mean, if it's there... And it allows me to use powers without hindrance. And it's a decent color. Sure. <laughs> I'll wear it. <laughs> Alright. Uh, this is attack plus three. Hmm. Interesting. Some good stuff. Alright. Get back to all items. All right. What's with the data pad? I forgot to read that. Uh. Oh. Contains detailed descriptions of you and Bastila. It also has a brief message. Bastila has escaped Taurus. Whoever can find and dispose of her and her Jedi companion will be greatly rewarded by the Lord Malak himself. I see. All right. Well, that's good to know now. Okay. What can well. I do? Uh, sure. Points sure. up. There we go. Good. Hey! We all have a thing. And now I can actually have it. 
That's cool. All right. Um, swoop track. That's right. That's right. That's what this place is. Uh, Yuka Rill. What do you want? You here for money? I'll pay the hut what I owe as soon as the circuit is back on its feet. No, wait. You don't look like a collector. You're just some kid. Go on. I don't have time for you. Um, maybe you were right. Maybe I want money. <laughs> that's a little, uh, that's a little messed up. Um, I have a few things I wanted to ask. Spare moment? If I say no, you'll probably hound me to death. Fine, what do you want? Uh, I want to ask about you and racing. Uh, buttons are not working for some reason. There's not much useful you'll get out of me. Eucharil is on the way down. I can't match the young riders. Is this a bliss... It blessed? <laughs> is this the blessed place for racing? Uh, well... F yeah, that's, that's totally what I meant to say. This is the best place for racing? I'd better hope so. It's the last stop for me. If I can't get some decent times going, I may as well not leave. I wish I could use the destruction of Terrace as an excuse, but I doubt I would have ever made it back there. Why have racers come here? Old guys like me can't make it on the good tracks, and new racers come here to try and knock us down even further. I'm still trying to have one last good run, but it just isn't happening. How long have you been at this? Too many years. I've raced on almost every track and all I've got to show for it is an aging bike. No good memories? That seems like a waste. I've got a few trophies stashed, but they don't pay the bills. Yep, I should have quit after the course on Classic. Alright. Sorry to hear that, man. I mean, it sounds, you got, it sounds like you at least got some achievements for you. I mean, achievements don't mean squat in the long run. But, uh, hey, you did it. <laughs> uh, what can you tell me about the other racers? Bunch of babies, all of them. Well, except for Zorus. She's got the goods like I never had. Good for her, I guess. If I had to say something good about the new racers, it would be about that Nico kid. He's got a future. What makes you say that? He doesn't fear the track. You get old, you start to worry about failing. He just lets it all come to you. All right. Fair enough. What do you think about that? Some promoter will use him up and he'll end up in debt like me. It's already happening, I bet. Oh. So that's why you need the money. Okay. Because promoters will, you know, suck you dry. Makes sense. Yeah. That's why you try to avoid that, kids. Promote your own damn self. Uh, at least try to, anyway. <laughs> sometimes it works, sometimes it don't. Uh, okay, let's go back to my first question. I suppose. Make it quick. Uh, looking for something. Who knows the planet best? I don't know. Go ask some moguls. I want to know as little about this dust bowl as possible. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Tell us how you really feel. All right. Yeah. Bye bye. Okay. Um. Garm Tatril? That's a hell of a name. Hi there. Waiting for a slot on the track? Me too. There's lots of racers coming through here now. New swoop jocks like me don't get much respect. Just takes practice, I guess. Uh, I got a few things I want to ask. Spare moment? Well, sure, but I don't know how much besides the track. You even interested in the swoop track? A little, but. I'll do that off camera. Get huge money wise. <laughs> that that's not cheatsy doodle, is it? Yeah, yeah it is. Okay, well, I wasn't gonna. <laughs> I wasn't gonna say I wouldn't avoid it all the time, but uh, that's a thing that does take a little bit of ingenuity and a lot of saves to coming. <laughs> anyway. Uh, I want to ask about you and racing. Heck, nobody's ever interested in me. I'm the new guy. I'm Tartrel. Tartrel. Pleased to meet you. I was not trying to imitate the alien tongue, okay? It was me being unable to say his god's damn name. Garm Tartrel. Okay. This is the best place for racing? Ha! You're kidding, right? Every racer here would rather be someplace else, but this is it for most of us. Terrace blowing up has messed up the swoop circuit. People are just looking for somewhere to keep their skills sharp. It sounds weird, doesn't it? Worrying about racing when all those people died? Nothing we can do. 
Why have they come here, then? Mata pays for timekeeping and official records. You can race anywhere, but here, if you do good, it actually matters. That's why I stick around. No work, no future, but Tatooine at least has this. It's my shot. Maybe. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's, that's typical of uh, podunk towns and whatnot. Uh, <laughs> this is, I guess podunk planets are kind of the same way, aren't they? Uh, how long have you been at this? Not that long, just this season. I'm getting better. Still too cautious. Good thing I've got some bros to learn from. What do you want to learn? How they keep their nerves steady. Bike maintenance. You know, all of it. I'm not as good as some, but I try. Is it the best place for it? Oh, yep. Yep, I already read that. How long have you been at this? Not that long, just this season. I'm getting better, still too cautious. Okay. I think I already read that too. Uh, what can you tell me about the other guys? You should ask them yourself. I don't feel like speaking for the pros. I'm the new guy to them. It's not my place to talk. I'd be nervous even talking about Nico. He's young like me, but he's practically a prodigy. This makes you say that. Everyone thinks he's the next star of the pro circuit, if he signs with a promoter. Mata is really pushing him. What do you think about that? I hear that the deal is pretty bad, but I'd take it in a second. I don't have Nico's skill, though. So, the deal is fucking terrible. But, it would be enough to get him up in life. <laughs> or at least, you know in a place that he can start doing well financially for a little bit and then slowly drift down to fucking nothing like the guy behind me. Alright, fair enough. Let's go to the back to my first question. Sure, I don't think I'll be getting much track time anyway. Uh, I'm looking for something. Who knows the planet best? Anyone but a swoop racers. Really, we can show you the track, but anything else? We've got no clue. You can check with the Zerka office. They like to think they know everything. Alright. Race hard, watch for rocks. Sounds good to me. And you're Nico. The big talk around town. Okay. Alrighty. Swoop groupie. I love watching the races. Nothing much else to do. Fair enough, I get that. Zoris Bafka. Yes, is there something you wish? I have a moment or two while others post their times. Is, there, is this a racing matter? Perhaps you are interested in taking up the sport. Uh, I wanted to ask a few questions if you have the time. I'm not so preoccupied with the track that I can't spare a few minutes. Go ahead. I want to ask about uh, stuff on the planet. Let's go with that one first. I must confess that I haven't had much time to learn about this planet. Talk of terrorists has seemed more important. Some of the hunters in Faza's Lodge seem like they would know more than I would, but that wouldn't take much. Fair enough. That, yeah, that's pretty fair. I mean, if you're all more talking about terrorists, especially considering your profession involves a swoop track in that was kind of really big on terrorists, yeah, that makes sense. Now I think about it. Sorry about that. Thought I heard something fall over in the apartment. Okay. I wanted to ask about you in racing. My name is Zoris Bafka. I suppose I am one of the more experienced racers here. What do you want me to answer? Uh, is this the best place for it? Perhaps not, but it'll do for now. Professional racers like myself travel wherever the poofs, the uh, purses are. Pooses, okay, that's it's no secret that one of the more popular tracks was lost in terrace. Other promoters will need time to organize. In the meantime, we will race at the smaller venues. This is almost a recreational stop for me. Why bother if the track is so small? You lose the skills if you don't use them. I could race on any open road, but competition gives the push to get better. Besides, if my presence lends a little, lends a little prestige to the track, maybe we'll get some new racers out of it. That's... Fair enough. Can't really... Can't really say that's bad. Reasoning there. If only my tongue didn't butcher half the words. <laughs> That'd have been great. Uh, how long have you been at this? A few years, but I raced under a different name when I was young. My early career was not very spectacular. 
why did you change your name? It wasn't that big of a deal. I made the jump from one league to another and wanted to shed some baggage. Don't waste much thought on it. It was purely a personal matter that has no bearing today. That's fair enough. Can you tell me anything about the other guys? There are some promising newcomers here. Garm tries hard and I wish him well, but Nico is the one to watch. It's invigorating to watch him discover his skills. I hope he manages to remember why he took up the sport. What makes you say that? The race is not just about speed. It is a business and we are the product. He must market himself carefully. What do you think about that? It is a necessary side to the sport. You must make someone money or there would be no circuit. Shit. <laughs> that is... That is disgustingly capitalistic, but I understand the point of where she's coming from because it's fairly true. If there's no way to make money off it, no one's interested enough to actually devote time and money to it. I guess that's fair. Shit. <laughs> that sucks, though. Really, it does. Ah, oh well. Uh, there's not much of the first questions I still had, so... Uh, I'll leave for now. Goodbye. Racer's luck be with you. Alright. Sounds good to me. Uh, another swoop racer. I was due to race on Terrace, but I blew a qualifying race. Guess I'm lucky, huh? <laughs> yeah, that's a way to look at it, sure. A little lucky. You avoided a planet being blown to smithereens? Sure. Alright, um... It's a track coordinator. Can I talk to you? Oh, Sorry, the track is for only for racers that Mata has accepted and signed up. He pays for track upkeep, so it's his choice. Go talk to him and we'll see about setting you up. Mm. I gotta talk to the fucking hut? Uh... More fucking evil slug people talking. Ugh. Uh, I guess if you want to make money, that's the only way you really can do it on Taurus. Okay. I'll talk to them. <laughs> Actually, I probably shouldn't. I'm recording this a little late at night, and the voice is a little loud and a little rough. <laughs> so, that's, that's, uh, that's, that's just... Put, let's put a pin in that for now. We'll get back to that later. Alright. So, we took care of these guys here. And... Citizen of Anchorhead. Oh, the cantina. Okay. Viable place to go. All right, Berserker officer. You want spacer? Go talk to the office if you want to complain about conditions here. I don't want to hear it. Seems like every other person I meet is complaining about something. Well, it's not going to get better, so leave me alone. Um. Okay. Uh. <laughs> I mean, I wanted to ask a few questions if you have the time. I don't really have any interest in helping you. Will this be quick? You're not much of a spokesman for Zerka. Like I said before, I don't much care what you think. I'll be on the street if business keeps dropping, and it will. Okay. That's fair, I guess. Yeah, you. I, I would understand getting a little pissy at that point. Uh, let's go back to my first questions. All right, then. Make it quick. All right. I'm looking for something useful, uh, or rather anything that's uh, specifically useful to me. Uh, who knows this planet best? Nobody we brought, that's for sure. Our expert said this rock was supposed to have mining potential to last for years. Nothing but garbage or good for nothing. You ever try to sell someone garbage? My name's Mud in three systems now. Wow. <laughs> that sucks. Good. Fair a enough. Lack of business to attend to. <laughs> a lack of business to attend to. That's actually that's a decent line. Gandroff. Well now, what can Gandroff do for you? It's been a while since I've had anyone bother talking to me. Usually it's a kid enough. wondering what my old racing days were like. But 
I was back on Taris. Seems like a long time ago. Yeah, it would be because it's blown up. <laughs> I mean, uh, I want to ask you uh, a few questions. I'm not sure what I have that you would be interested in. I, I'm, 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 I'm just an old swoop jock that doesn't have the head for it anymore. <laughs> well, I mean, it's still something I want to know about. Uh, let's ask about you and racing. Ah, something I know. Well, well, something I used to know. Um, my racing days are behind me. Gandroff is the name. You said that already. Thank you for repeating it, though. That means it will stick in my mind. Although, why, uh, why are they behind you? How long did you race? Oh, well, past my prime by any measure. I started late, too. Not like the kids out there now. Mm -hmm. Some of them are too young. Too young? Why do you think that? It's a cutthroat business. I, I, I've seen some of them burn out after a year. They get dangerous and don't live long. That's not everyone, of course, but, but it happens. I'm a mm -hmm. husband, I'll admit, but, but dying while you're on top is still dying. I'll pass. That is a extremely good point. Dying on top is still dying. <laughs> You're not wrong. Uh, but uh, I, I think some people forgot that uh, lesson somewhere down the line. Probably. <laughs> There's more than a few. Uh, is this the best place for racing? The best place to race is wherever the track treats you sweet and your times are golden. It's that simple. You get hung hmm. up on any one track and, and he'll end up like me. <laughs> My favorite stop was Taris. Uh, Taris. Yeah. Always look forward to going back. Now, now I don't want to touch my bike at all. Uh, maybe, maybe I wasn't in the winter circle lately, but I still race for sport, you know. <laughs> okay, <laughs> all right. Uh, some, some of his, uh, some of his mannerisms are a little odd. I'll admit. Then again, I shouldn't really talk. So my mannerisms are extremely odd. But uh, that's neither here nor there. Uh, <laughs> And uh, hey, if, if you liked racing for racing, I don't blame you. And uh, especially if your favorite spot got blown the fuck up. Yeah, I would not blame you for quitting either. Uh, what made Terrace any different? A woman. Well, I never won on Terrace, but it was always my first stop on the circuit. And last if I could help it. That doesn't matter now. You can't ask for more certain closure than the whole plan of being gone. <laughs> Poof, boom, gone. Oh. Well, that sucks. Yeah, he's, uh... Now that kind of explains the mannerisms a little bit. He's a little broken up about it. Understandably so, even. Could you tell me about the other racers that you're aware of? I don't, I don't really talk to any of them. I, I know Zara's from the circuit, and, and we couldn't ask for a tougher lady. <laughs> She's smart, too. I, mm -hmm. I, don't, I don't know the younger guys, but, but I've been watching Nico. Uh, good to see someone doing it for the love of the race. What makes him any different than the others? I don't know, but but, 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 but some people just, just have something that lets the bike take them. It's, it's like the air stops pushing back. That's an old track, too, you know, when, 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 when the wind decides to stop fighting. I, I used to have that. <laughs> Fair enough, all right. Uh, that would explain why you quit, too. Yeah. All right, then. Uh, oh, well, I'm looking for something. Who knows the planet best? Ask me again in a few years, and it'll be me. <laughs> I'm probably not going back out on the circuit. There is one. Yeah, but for now, for now, mm -hmm. I, I, I don't know any more than the next guy. You should try the locals. Chow is maybe a funny little guy. <laughs> oh, that fucking line. Oh, that line. <laughs> he probably had a little fun uh, delivering that one. Because I think I would have fun delivering that one. I'm, just, I'm, I'm not even going to lie. Okay. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> and you're saying it with a jowl right behind me. Uh, uh, that's racist. Okay. Okay, I have to leave. Uh, keep safe. Yep, yep. Seems like tough times are coming. Oh, you're not wrong. Oh, you are not wrong, buddy. Furco Nellis. Well, fresh face for the game. I wonder, would you care to play? 
My name is Furco Nelson. Oh, my vice. You're a Pazak person. Ugh. Not not for now, guy. Alright. But remember that there isn't much fun on Tatooine that isn't life threatening. Come back if you like a game. Clearly, because you you've had apparently a life threatening injury at some point. Presumably. I mean, that scar doesn't come out of nowhere. Usually. Uh Ithorian patron. Don't go bothering people while they are drinking, it's rude. How about fuck you? I'll bother you if I want. Sith, Jedi, do either of them really care when normal people get caught in their fighting? I do! A little? Don't care if we've got Sith rule or Republic rule. Either way, I work the mines. Yeah, I guess that's fair. How about... Uh... uh Junix... Junix Nard? Okay, that's Who are you name. then? Only new people that come to Junix Nard's cantina are long-time losers and bounty hunters. I don't have to tell you why the two don't mix well. Oh. Please keep any blaster fire to a minimum. That, that's fair. Do you have anything for sale? Zerka Corporation only worries about keeping their own stores full. I don't have much on hand. You seem to have something. Bothanchuka. Does a lot of stun. Not a lot of normal damage, but a lot of stun. Huh. Krath Bloodblade. That's a name. Twisted by the dark side, this Krath weapon is as deadly as a modern Viper Blade. It was meant for assassination in a Cortosis weave that prevents lightsaber sparring damage, ensured that even Jedi must respect it. Alright, fair enough. The Bothan Quick Draw as well. What's that with Bothans and getting stunned? Oh, that's why. An unconscious opponent is a quiet opponent. <laughs> Makes sense. This weapon is a Bothan favorite designed to create opportunities. <laughs> I like that line. I like that line for reasons that are semi-stupid. I'm not going to lie. I wonder if that's a similar thing by the Chuka here. Very effective device used by Bothan Elite. Some systems consider simple possession of one as grounds for execution as a spy. Oh. High density discharge cells make this item unwieldy and unusable in the offhand. Fair enough. Good to know. Stabilizer gauntlets. I already have a pair of these. Oh, so he has Gizka Poison too. And he has Bazak cards. Alrighty. There's almost no reason for me to grab one of these. It's not even upgradable. Yeah, I guess it's not the worst item list I've ever seen. Alright, well, I think I'm going to end the episode here for right now because, uh, well, like I said, it's fairly late at night and there's not much else I can do without uh, getting very uh, loud and voice heavy. <laughs> and, uh, sometimes that's, uh, pretty much the same thing. So, thank you all so much for watching. Click the subscribe button if you like these videos and you want to see more. Click the like button if you like this particular video. And share and comment so we can bring more people into this community. We can talk about the games we're playing together and I will see y'all in the next episode. This has been the one and only Stray Cat playing games and just exploring Anchorhead learning about what we can do here we got the swoop area uh we ran into a couple dark jedi and killed them and uh we went into the cantina and learned a little bit about what we could which wasn't a lot uh it was kind of odd how little we learned this episode other than uh the people who were in the swoop area but uh there was that and jedi dark jedi so more lightsaber stuff Woo. For you.